All right, we're here in Guild Wars 2 today, doing Lion's Arch, um, covering all the vistas in there. Um, starting off with the uh, Blood Coast Ward, uh, which started at the Blood Coast Waypoint, and just kind of head to the east there, uh, northeast a little bit, and up around the steps, and out onto this little ledge here. Uh, let's grab that first vista already. And there's going to be 11 total in the city. And also because of uh, how many there are and the amount of time it takes to show you all of them. I'm going to have most of this on like fast forward speed. So <laughs> but it shows you from the Blood Coast Ward Waypoint uh, down the south of the city. And then up and around that hill. Alright, so this next one is Diverse Ledges. I um, feel like that's a typo because I feel like it should be Diver's Ledge. Anyways, there's a waypoint up here, um, which you, if you already have, uh, but don't have the Vista you can use, um, then all you would really need to do is jump off the top of um, that little Diver's area and uh, pick up the Vista. Um, there's a fun thing you can do with that ledge. Uh, there's some diving goggles up there you can pick up and jump off, um, which is pretty nifty. Um, but what I'm going to show you here is because if you need help fighting this place, chances are you don't already have that waypoint. Um, so I'm going to kind of go backwards and uh, more or less show you... Uh, well, not backwards, but I'm going to kind of show you how to get to that waypoint as well. We picked up a speed boost from the top there so I could do it a little faster and then jumped off. So if you were down here in the water basically what you would need to do. As you can see if you run up onto the beach there's that kind of little path and this just takes you up and around uh, you know the side of the cliff there and eventually you'll make your way back up just following this road. But you know I'm kind of showing this to you. There you go. That's kind of back where we started. <coughs> so if you don't have the waypoint already, that's how to get the waypoint too. Uh, I figure that's useful information to have. <laughs> All right. So this one's going to be Eastern Ward at the Eastern Ward waypoint. Um, from there, uh, just start heading west. Um, you can come from the other direction as well, um, but it's quickest this way. You just make your way through these uh, ships that serve as like a kind of structure slash slash bridge. Um, eventually when you get to the other end there'll be these kind of crates blocking your path but you can jump over them. Um, and then once you get to the outside there we're gonna go up uh, one of the uh, sails which have been fashioned into a roof and there's the vista right there. And uh, there you can also kind of see how if you came from near the Grand Piazza area, you can more or less uh, do a similar thing from the other direction. Uh, although you wouldn't have to go through all the ships first from that, from that way. Alright, so next one is Far Shore Ward, um, Far Shore Waypoint. Uh, Alright, this one is a pretty tricky one. Uh, so from the waypoint itself, you're going to run south. Uh, up these little steps and around this little farmhouse here and then towards the back of the farmhouse you see how oh, there's these other guys jumping up here too and but there's those hay bales and that's what you want to use to kind of uh, get to the secret path <laughs> you just kind of have to like run through the plants um, just look in the direction really that I'm running in as you can see here and then there's this kind of rock cliff uh, that's the wrong direction don't go that way <laughs> But just up and around, um, you know, these little bits here. Oh, almost there, and we've got it. Now, um, I'm not too familiar with the area that's uh, kind of through this um, dragon's mouth thing. I believe it has something to do with the story, um, or whatever mouth it is carved into the stone here. 
but uh, if you do go down in there, um, be very careful. Um, try to make sure there's somebody with you, because unfortunately, it's very likely that you'll die on your way in, and then you have to waypoint out, and you can't get down there. Because uh, unfortunately, um, I mean, it has this cool thing where you're supposed to like slide down, uh, but somebody thought it'd be a good idea to put stuff that just randomly sticks up to block your way. So while you're sliding down this, you know, supposed to be fun slide thing, there can be like a stalactite or something that blocks you. You hit that and then you'll all of a sudden you take thousands of falling damage. So, you know, good job to whoever thought of that one. Uh, either way. Uh, so this is going to be Hooligan's Route. And that's from the Western Ward Waypoint. You kind of um, cut the video a little bit because I had some trouble getting on those uh, first few stalactites, which uh, can be a little bit of a pain. Basically, you just jump from the smallest to the largers. And then once you get into the larger structures, it's another jump, another jump, and then you have to land on the um, that really thin one that sticks up. You can kind of see there's not very much room to land on, so it can be kind of aggravating, but at least you don't die or fall far away or something like that. So, Alright, so next one is going to be the Inner Harbor. It's the Eastern Wardway point again. And this one is tricky only because it's really out of the ordinary. Just run up to this guy right next to the waypoint, talk to him, uh, pick the first two options, you bet. And I'll give you this little device, um, push one, uh, usability, and then you just target the spot with the vista and you launch over there. Now, um, I haven't tried taking that little gun of his anywhere else, but if you could move it um, away from that area, you could actually use it to get to some of these other vistas a lot easier. Um, at least that last one where you have to land on the tiny little rock. Um, you know, so if somebody wants to try that, definitely let me know uh, how that went. I'd be interested to find out. But uh, it's an idea that could be worth trying. Well, it's definitely not necessary. All right. So next one, I believe, is Poster and Ward here. Yep. And then Lion Shadow and Waypoint. And from there, just to the west, you've got this large rock structure. You can kind of just see the vista there already. And just jump to the left uh, of the structure as you're running towards it, and then just you can make your way up. No big problem. A lot of scenery to take in in the city. It's quite a big one. And it's the, uh, I haven't played too much Guild Wars 1, but I know it's uh, apparently the old human city uh, before Divinity's Reach and this major catastrophe kind of flooded the whole place. But that's another story. Anyways, so Sanctum Harbor, Sanctum Harbor Waypoint, south off the docks and down into the water. Very easy to grab because there's really no difficulty to get to it other than, you know, well, I would even say that. But yeah, um, swim down. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now you see it on the map. Kind of that curved path we took in. Alright, so next one, Traders Forum Lower. Um, Traders Forum War Point, or Waypoint. Um, there's actually kind of two that are sort of in Traders Forum. Uh, one of them is the, kind of the Mystic Plaza, but it, they both say that on the your mini map. Either way, uh, you see where I've kind of run so far. We're in south, uh, to the east of the right building, and then up the scaffolding. Uh, from there, scaffolding takes you to this little mini bridge that connects the two, and you can just step right out onto the sail there. Hmm. 
it, excuse me. Alright, so there's the kind of map path there. You can even see the waypoint from below. Of course, you can see the vista from. Or you can see the waypoint from above, the vista from below. Anyways, uh, so this is going to be Traders Forum Upper, and we're actually starting from the Canal Ward waypoint. Uh, this is a long stretch um, to get to, uh, though this first part is a little bit unnecessary. Um, <laughs> or at least uh, well, looking at the jump off. But yeah, so from Canal Ward, you're going to run east uh, through a lot of the city. And the thing that we're kind of looking for is this large scaffolding structure we just found here, which is uh, pretty far east from where we warped in. Um, anyways, we're going to run all the way up the scaffolding to kind of get to the higher upper areas of uh, Lion's Arch. And then a little bit south of that is this uh, really long wooden walkway that kind of connects the upper regions because um, there's a whole bunch of buildings that just kind of sit above the lower ones. And it's pretty cool to run around up here actually because it just kind of looks really nifty. But as you can see on your way up, there'll be this wooden log which you want to be very careful walking out into because if you fall you will die um, and then there's our vista um, and it can be pretty hard to find this one uh, just looking at it uh, or from below or whatever because uh, the map doesn't really show the path that well but as you can see here it's a really long walk um, and even though it's technically the vista itself is relatively close to the trader's form waypoint. You actually want to use the canal ward. Um, although I guess you can still use trader's form. It's just not going to cut down on any of the distance, really. And uh, it's also helpful because that's how you get to some of the um, points of interest in the city. Is uh, You have to use that bridge, and there's a few of the buildings to check out. So if you don't jump off that wooden ledge, you can continue on. Anyways, so last one, uh, Western Ward. Uh, there's kind of two ways. Uh, this is from the Western Ward waypoint too, and it's right to the east. Uh, two ways to get up these rock ledges. Uh, you'll see one of these guys run to the right there, and see where he's jumping up. You can go up that way, or you can go the way I just went, which requires a little bit of uh, deft when it comes to your jump and moving it to the left as you're launching yourself up, so to speak, uh, so that you can catch the edge of the rock there. And once you've done that, it's pretty simple. Just make your way up the parts of the building, and then there's your vista. And then we have covered uh, all the vistas in Lion's Arch. Yeah, so, um, as always, I'm taking suggestions on what to do next for Guild Wars 2 or whatever, um, or, you know any improvements I can make on these videos. But for now, uh, thank you guys for watching this video.